Greetings, everybody. Here we are, Thursday, September 14th, 2011. Pastor David here. Tomorrow is the 15th. And a lot of talk on the internet about this uh, earthquake pattern, 188-day uh, intervals in between these major earthquakes in Chile and uh, Christchurch, New Zealand. We're putting names and attaching names to them now. Then uh, the 9.0 earthquake in Japan. These are significant uh, magnitude earthquakes. Eight point uh, magnitudes and higher. And there's a lot of talk. There's talk today now about uh, is it off of Alaska? Six point uh, one magnitude quake. That is not nowhere near. That's a big quake. That's a very very big quake. But nowhere near the magnitude quake to cause the kind of destruction, death. Why are we talking about death and damage and destruction? That happened in Chile, that happened in Christchurch, New Zealand, and that happened in with a 9.0. All the lives that were lost, businesses, uh, livelihood, like the homes, everything that was lost. And now we're talking about tomorrow being the next 188th day of this pattern. Now I'm going to put out a warning and a red alert. I might make a lot of people mad at me and I don't really care. Uh, as you know, I bring you earthquake reports on a regular basis. Now I've got a viewer of mine, uh, Mr. Single Dad 06, who was uh, posting bulletins on him. And 7.0, 7 7.0 in, uh, is very much uh, a pattern nowadays. Look at Vanuatu. We're seeing a lot of six point uh, magnitude quakes, seven point magnitude quakes. Now if we have a, a, a 7.1 quake tomorrow, I just don't want to see people jumping on their YouTube channel making videos. This is it. We had it. We had a big quake here in the United States. But a 5.4, 5.3, 5.8, 5.9. It was a big quake. But it's not going to cause the amount of damage and destruction that seems to be following this pattern. And let's not put all our attention on that. You know, let's not focus on this destruction. I don't feel anything's going to happen tomorrow. But what I am afraid of is we're going to have a 6.1 earthquake somewhere. And people are going to start claiming, this is it. This is it. This is it, folks. It was a 5.9 quake. And, you know, I, I, I bring you 7 uh, point magnitude quakes all the time. It's a pattern. It's a regular pattern now. And that is a large quake. But I just don't want people to uh, pour so much into this. I don't feel a major, major catastrophic earthquake of eight point and nine point happening tomorrow and that's what it would take anything less is just we see it all the time it's it's sad because these are large quakes we but we see it on a regular basis if you're following the earthquake reports we see it all the time so with that said and we we use bible prophecy with this and we're talking about um revelation where the angels are holding back the four winds but when we read that passage, before the 144,000 are sealed, the major earthquake that moved the mountains were moved out of their place and people hid among the rocks um, in fear happened before the angels were holding back the four winds. We, we can't put too much into this. Don't focus all your thoughts. Thoughts are powerful on a, a catastrophe tomorrow because we don't want a catastrophe. We don't want to see people losing their livelihood and their homes, uh, their vehicles, their land, their businesses. We don't want to see any death. We don't want that. So let's see what happens tomorrow. But it, again, it would have to be a major, major catastrophic earthquake of a very high magnitude. Not a 6.1. Not a 7.0. Oh, not a 7.1 magnitude quake. That's not going to follow the pattern. I don't feel anything's going to happen. Let's, let's watch tomorrow and see. I'll keep you updated on the earthquake reports. Um, I'll try to come back with some uh, again for you today, this evening. Now, I want to update you on my show four. It's on its way. There's been a delay. I think you're going to find this interesting. It was in the mail. It's coming directly from Israel. And I'm going to sound it the start of all my videos but it got tied up 
with the anniversary of uh, 9-11, September 11th. It's now sitting at JFK Airport. I'm sure it's been scanned and opened and uh, beamed and uh, the TSA groped it a little bit, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's on its way. It's funny that uh, coming from Israel, and remember I brought you a video a while back that, oh, Obama put Israel on the terror uh, watch list and then took them off when everybody started to raise a fuss about it. They're our ally. You got them on the terror watch list. Was my chauffeur on the terror watch list too? Because it came from Israel? I just thought that amusing. Don't know when it'll get here, but of course it's been tied up in customs. I guess that's customary. Leave me comments. Don't put a lot of focus on this earthquake. Don't buy into people putting up a 6.1, 7.1 quake and calling. That's it. I believe something great is going to take place before this month is over, but I don't think tomorrow's it. I really don't, and I hope I'm right, because I could be wrong. God bless. Leave me comments.